Hi everyone, uh, this is Professor Benjamin and I will be your professor for this four week winter course. Um, so just a couple disclaimers before we begin this four week winter course. Um, number one is, you're, remember you're taking a 15 week class in four weeks. I do not con cut content or material, so um, you're doing what we normally do in 15 weeks in four weeks. That means there's a lot of work involved in taking this four week course. Um, so if you're not willing to put in the work or the time or the effort, then maybe this course is not for you at this time. Okay, so really about two or three weeks of the semester are covered literally every week so um, you know you have every week we're covering about four sessions that we would normally cover one in each 15 week session um, so plan accordingly um, the due dates are the due dates um, and it means anything can be due up until that due date it doesn't mean that you can't submit it before the due date um, so we do have a due date on no um, on December 25th which some people celebrate the Christmas holiday um, and we also have um, a due date on January 1st which is New Year's Day um, that does not mean that you can't submit your work before that due date you would just need to plan accordingly okay um, so I'm leaving those due dates as is um, because my only other option would be to bump it up a day or two days and that can cut into other people's time frame and some people don't celebrate New Year's Day and some people don't celebrate um, the Christmas holiday so <clears throat> I, I want to be fair to everyone and leave those due dates as is okay so this is what the course looks like um, you're gonna need to read a lot the first first session so actually the first session I have less things due um, than the the moving session so the first week you're gonna have and I'm gonna show you in the modules how it's all set up you're going to have um, initial posts and quizzes and things of that nature and then the second week you have initial posts response posts and your midterm exam which is all essay so you have a lot to do the second week the third week you have initial posts Posts, response posts quizzes and then the fourth week you have posts initial posts response posts and then the final exam so you have a lot due in a short period of time a lot of reading a lot of reading a lot of preparation um, and so again I just want to warn everyone that if you feel you can't put the time and effort into this course maybe it's not for you to take during a four week session. The other thing is if you struggle with writing or reading, this is going to be a very difficult course for you. Um, writing and reading are essential, especially in online courses. So if you really struggle with writing, um, getting your point across, um, having proper grammar, structure, um, knowing how to cite sources, then this course may be very, very troublesome for you. And there's not a lot of time for you to improve because it's just four weeks that's all we have um, one other disclaimer I want to give you is this is a no excuse course you need to submit your work by the due date if you miss the due date it's a zero I don't have time to worry about whether something's late or anything so please do not email me that you had an emergency or something came up or your computer froze or um, you know your you had a breakup or whatever I I can't help you during this four week semester so um, again um, you need to plan accordingly for the four week semester I have already wiped off my entire schedule for the following four weeks um, so make sure that you um, are prepared for the amount of work entailed in this course so right here you'll see the the main page you want to make sure you read through the main page I have all of the information um, about the course and if you look right here um, this is where this video will be here is the syllabus for the course as well as here you want to make sure you read through the entire syllabus from top to bottom read the entire syllabus before you begin this course okay I can't stress that enough I can't tell you how many times students do not read the syllabus and they don't understand understand my expectations so the course will run as this there will be discussion posts and response posts they will be worth 40% um, of your grade then you will have a 20% 20, 20 of your grade is the midterm 20% of your grade is the final and 20% of your grade are the quizzes that you will have due um, so some weeks you might have three quizzes due some weeks you might have one quiz due some weeks you might have two quizzes due and all of that can be found under each module 
okay so if you look over here you'll actually see modules this is the next button you want to click so modules will give you everything that you need for this course so what you do is you follow everything under each week and then you won't miss anything if you look here this is all of the course information you need instructions for the course video on how to use the grades tab the grades tab is here this is a video to show you how to use the grades tab how um, how you can do the what if scenario to figure out what your potential grade may be in this class this is the directions for the initial forum post you need to make sure you've read this I'm just going to open it really quick to show you um, again also I just want to show everyone if something doesn't open for example you'll get a lot of errors on a lot of my external websites that I give you just click up here um, a red box might appear here just click on it and you'll see it underlined which means it'll take you to the external link okay um, and so here are your directions for the initial forum posts so each session you have um, you may have one or two initial forum posts do you will click on the initial forum forum posts and I'll show you where to find those it will give you a list of six questions there are 36 students in our class so only six people can answer each question okay so you're gonna pick one of those six questions you're gonna look to make sure six other students haven't answered it and then you're gonna answer it so it's better to get into the system early look at what question you might want to answer and then post your reply um, in there so that you get the question you want if you're going to wait until the night the initial posts are due um, then you're going to not have the same selection of choices of questions that you normally would have again remember we have 36 students in the class so there'll be six questions under there each student right in the class there's six students who can answer each one of those questions so I only want six students to answer each question the reason for this is is I get sick and tired of reading the same thing over and over again the other thing is is that a lot of students copy other students work so this eliminates that problem okay you do not need to answer all six questions you need to pick one of the six and answer it but you need to make sure that six of your other classmates haven't already answered it but by the time you get in to answer the question okay here are important things about your forum posts um, each forum post which includes the response post so the initial post and response post is worth 10 points your initial post is worth six points your response post is worth five points okay so if you make the initial post and then you forget to do the response post the most you can get is six points out of that 10 okay and then there are other things that I take points off for number one in initial post there should be no I statements no I believe I think in my opinion I'm sorry but this class while your opinion does matter in certain places right here in this class it doesn't matter you actually can make your opinion without using I statements so yes this is a tragedy of the commons and here are the reasons why with factual basis um, instead of saying I believe it is you just say yes or no um, so if you use I statements I will take significant points off the other thing is is you need to make sure of course the question is not out of play you write the question at the top and then you answer the question paragraph format proper grammar and spelling you also need to use sources so in your post you need to use sources and when I mean one source I don't mean you just like take one little quote out of the source and then use it no you need to actually use the source in your post so you need to use the source in your post show where it's used using in-text citations so if you paraphrase wherever you paraphrase if you quote all the time you need to show where that source is used using in-text citations if you do not know how to use in-text citations please see the information under the course information session that says how to cite sources and then at the end of your post you're going to properly cite the source in proper MLA formatting so on every single initial post this needs to take place and you can read for further details here about what I want here's an example um, of a initial post and you can see here the student writes the question at the top then answers the question and then puts the sources here but throughout this the student also used these sources in her post okay so I want you to make sure you look at that all right so these are the directions for the initial post so each session you'll have initial post and all of the initial posts in this class are due by Wednesday 1159 
Wednesday 1159. The response posts are always due by Friday 1159. You will actually see on this due date here. So if you look here, here's all the course information session. Here are my directions for response posts as well. Um, if you look here, session one, this will be what we're covering first week. Down here you'll see your discussion post. You'll see that the due date says December 23rd. That is a Friday. That is actually not the due date for the initial post. The initial post due date is due by Wednesday 11.59. The response post is due by Friday 11.59. The reason that I have to put that Friday due date is, is the system only allows me one due date. So make sure you do not miss the Wednesday 11.59 initial post deadline each session. If not, you will re you will be deducted six of the ten points so it's absolutely essential that you meet the deadline okay please write that down on your calendar every Wednesday night by 1159 your initial post is due every um, Friday night by 1159 your response post is due to a fellow classmate and if you have questions about the response post here they are my response post in this class must be at least 200 words and you must bring substantial content to the conversation not hey John love your post that doesn't count in this course it needs to be a significant have significant information in there and bring significant information to the post okay so all of this information will help you up here the course information and then if you look here you have each session so under each session we have a description read through the entire description it tells you everything that you need to know for the session then you have powerpoints and here are the vi video powerpoints um, the, my voice recordings to the powerpoints okay and then you'll see you have other additional readings podcasts videos external articles to read. You need to read all of this. Now for example for the first session a lot of you might skip over this reading because it's 32 pages. No, you actually need to do this reading because there's going to be significant questions on the midterm about this article right here. Okay, And then you can see under session one we have initial post and a response post due. Remember the initial posts are due by Wednesday, response post by Friday. Then you have a quiz due by Sunday 1159 and if you notice right here I already have the review for the winter term up. So under that review for the winter term you'll actually see everything I require paragraph answers for each question on the midterm and there's about 15 to 20 questions on the midterm. Um, so you'll see right there the review for the midterm so you can start typing out your answers before you take the midterm exam. So all of the answers you should type out before you take the midterm exam. That way you can copy and paste into Canvas when it's time for the midterm exam. Okay, um, and then you see here session two. Here is my description. Here are the voice recordings. Here's the PowerPoints. Here are all the additional readings. Yes, it's a lot, but remember we're covering 15 weeks and four weeks. You have your initial posts. You have one here and one here. Both you have to make two initial posts due by Wednesday 11:59. Response post by Friday, and then if you look here by January 1st, you also have your midterm exam due. So second week you have tons of stuff due. First week you can kind of what I would do the first week is start preparing for my midterm exam because all you have to do is the initial post by Wednesday 11:59, the re response post by Friday, and the um, quiz due by Sunday 11:59. And then look, second week you have a lot due. Um, so you want to make sure you're looking at these deadlines. And then you can see here session three, all of the information is here. You have voice recordings um, for the PowerPoint voice recordings, and then you have here your posts due, and then you have three quizzes, and then there's the the review for the final exam which is due the following week in week four. If you look here the final exam for this course is due um, by Friday so it's not due by Sunday it's due by Friday January 13th. On that same week you also have two discussion posts due so you want to make sure that you're prepared for all of this work in this. Um, so this just video gives you a brief overview of what we're covering this semester. Um, I will be sending out more information as we lead into the semester. Each week I send out a roundup to you guys that tells you exactly what happened during the week and what to prepare for for the next week. Um, so I look forward to you taking this course. Please heed my warning that you need to really prepare and put time and effort into this course. You're going to need to read a lot and write a lot. Um, and if you 
feel that you can't do that, then maybe this course is not for you. Okay. Um, I look forward to your um, submittals. I look forward to your first submittal. That's due to me um, on Wednesday by 11.59 um, in December. Um, so I, I look forward to it. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.